Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. In this particular video, I'm going to share with you this new project which I have assembled here. And this project is something I call Transformer Monitoring and Control System. I'm going to demonstrate to you how this project works and exactly areas or less applications where you could have this particular solution being implemented. Alright, so let's look at the circuit for this project and I'm designing this project using Pro Tools. And I'm going to guide you through and through for you to see exactly what I did while I designed the project and have it so that. Alright, so this is the circuit for the project and as I said, I'm designing it using um, Pro Tools um, software. For those that need this particular software, I also shared it um, also in some of my previous um, video where I get to share some materials I've been using. So Pro Tools software is available, I will still drop the link um, on the video description. So this is the schematic diagram, this is the microcontroller, the LCD, the relay and um, the sensor, the ACS um, current sensor, the, the rectifier circuits just as I have here. And then another good thing I did on this project is to create a PCB layout for this project. So I didn't use a PCB for my assembly, so I just created this for anyone that will um, get to need it. So this is the PCB and you can actually view it on um, on the 3D model. So this is the 3D model for the project for those that intend developing it for themselves. So this is exactly all you just need to know about the project and exactly all I have on the design. So if you want this 610, if you want to build it, I'm going to drop the GABA file as well in the video description and it's amazing it's something one can actually do maybe in my forthcoming video just let me know if you need me to do that so in my forthcoming video i might consider showing you how to like um, design these on pcb if you want to i mean converting pcb design or let's say schematic capture just as i have here to pcb then down to 3d visualization and also this is the bill of material if you also need to um, get other parts for this project so that is all you just need uh, for the design and uh, having done that let's go over to the code for this project so that you are going to see exactly how i was able to program this and then how the system work out just as i'm going to demonstrate for you shortly for the code for this project so here we have it over here so this is the code for this project and i'm going to run through about 100 lines of code so let me just run through it and then um, explain just slightly the basic part or the most important part for anyone so over here i started off by initializing the library for this project which is for the lucd display and i declared um, the variables i'm going to be using since i'm using the voltage divider for my sensor so i'm using the voltage divider i think i'm going to also um, drop um, a link for you to see how or a video where i explained further on how to use um, resistors as voltage sensors so this is the variable then this is the variable for relay buzzer and the rest and also these are more um, declarations that i made then on the set of function i initialized the serial monitor that was basically when i was um how would i say it's, it's used while you are running the project on the um on that you know uno board if you are testing it on a breadboard and then once the system starts up you have the lcd the lcd initialize and then give out this um intro then i declared the, my input and my output okay all right over here on the void loop i did the necessary calculations to generate my voltage reading using resistors and uh, as i said more details about it on the video i'm going to also drop a link onto via the video description and also here this is the variable for calculating um the um, current so i'm using a a 30 amps um, sensor so this is just the variable to calculate this and also the variable so to calculate the temperature i'm also using an NT, um, NT system store so this is the variable to calculate that then also once the system start running then this is where we interface or display the information the temperature just as you, as you're going to see while i demonstrate the video then the main logic of operation is this so whenever the temperature goes above 70 degree or whenever the current that's current i use average as my current whenever the current goes above 1.5 it should indicate this and overload reload the system and then after 10 seconds it should reboot and that's basically all i just have at this part of the project all right so currently now you can see the system is running and um, i've unplugged the light 
so currently we are reading our data login so the temperature the room temperature here is 30 degrees centigrade the voltage currently is zero which is the actual voltage the dc voltage output from this transformer and the current drawn by the load is zero so the whole idea is this whenever this system is being loaded we monitor the current this particular transformer is supplying to the load and also the temperature of the current which we're using an ntc thermistor so i'm just going to place the thermistor um, just a side here the temperature will keep rising because it was actually running initially so let me unplug the temperature so whenever the temperature goes above 70 degrees centigrade the system will cut off or whenever the current goes above 1.5 um, amps the system will cut off so let me power the system so the voltage is nine it has to drop because of this limitation we have on this particular transformer so one line provides one amps then when i try to add the second line it will cut off so everything is cut off now after 10 seconds it will reboot just as expected so the system after comparing the input current or let's say the total current being drawn out of the system it will uh, make logic uh, decision which is to cut off the system because the, the current drawn by one line is one amp so let me lose one let me just lose this to further demonstrate so this one draws one amp this one draws one amp so but when you combine the two together to power it with the output wire is going to draw two amps but since the logic we program is 1.5 amps whenever I detects it it will cut off so let me try one this is one amp just as you can see one amp then this one one amp then when I now combine it it will cut off the whole system is cut off so after 10 seconds, it will reboot. Great. Now, the next thing I'm going to do at the next demonstration will now be to use the temperature to trigger the system. So to do that, I can actually drop this way lower. So let me keep the temperature here. Whenever it goes above 70 degrees centigrade, it's, it's going to cut off. So it's around okay, 55 degrees centigrade. The temperature is one amp. The voltage has already dropped down from 22 to 24 because of um, the limitation of the current of the transformer type you're using. Okay, it's not worth touching, so let me just keep it here. Alright, so good. Perfect. So Oh, it has already reached 70 degrees, but let me just remove it while we wait. So let me plug this back. So as I plug back, it will increase 55. Ah, it just jumped because the temperature is so hot. So hot. It's so hot, it just had to jump up. And that's the system working. That's the system working, and I'm glad this project is um, is something I believe will solve real life problem in distribution line system. And having this project, we have it now as a prototype to demonstrate technical ways or practical ways of which a uh, control system, transmission system can be well monitored and as well controlled. My name is Marcus.